you gain all that independence back and you know I really I really thank everyone at Mary Freebed for you know getting me getting me to that point because everything is under one room everybody's helpful everybody's just you know anybody that I have come in touch with here personally or just walking by not knowing a person they're just friendly and they work and they help you you know and I can't say enough I mean they're just angels you know you lift both those up that way she's all locked and loaded great and then you find the center right, you find where you're comfortable Relax, relax, good. And wait there for a second. This is completely custom made for Josie. I mean, every little piece has been bent, heated, formed. I mean, it's absolutely her. We start off by taking molds of both of her legs, taking a mold of her trunk, and then we contour the bars, we take all the measurements, and we make this just for Josie. Good, that's all you, sweetheart. <laughs> if you watch any of us day to day, I mean, we just try to figure this stuff out. I mean, with all of O&P ortho seat, that's, we're little MacGyvers. I mean, we just have to figure it out, <laughs> make it work. There's not an actual good definition for what normal is because everybody's different in their own way. So I'm not really different and I'm not really normal just like nobody else is. I can truly say, I, I tell people this, I really have a lasting relationship with these people. It's just not they're, when I'm done here, they're out of my life. You know, people like Jen, you know, I mean, I, I just can't say enough about her. She just, if it wasn't for her, I literally can say I wouldn't be walking up the stairs or I wouldn't, my life would have a void. It's, it's more, I, I, before with the, the test socket, because my limb shrank, it was, I was getting some slip out. Like when I would pick the leg up, the leg would kind of stay for a second and I'd like drag it a little bit. You know what I mean? The weight of it. This feels just like it's part of my body. It just feels like natural. I, I trust her. I just really do. I plan on sticking with her all this time. And I mean, I drive 216 miles, you know, round trip to get here. So I, that's how much I trust her. Being able to, to use my life to give back um, as much as possible to people who might have lost hope. You know, that's um, the opportunity that I've gained. Hi, I'm Kirk Ferris. I'm the Clinical Director and Residency Director for Mary Freebed's Orthotic Prosthetic Plus Bionics. Please enjoy the video that we're about to show you of the wonderful things that we do in our department to restore hope and freedom for our patients. Uh, my name is Lance. I'm the Orthotic Mentor for the Residency Program. We have a really great program here at Mary Freebed. I feel like we have a lot to offer the residents. We see pediatrics, adults, arthrogryposis, scoliosis, limb differences. We have a great structured program. Um, here at Mary Freebed, we do see a lot of complex cases, so we're very grateful to take in a lot of patients who have been through a lot of trauma. With that comes a lot of emotional stress. So while this program is intense and we have a lot to offer, um, it can still be very emotional taxing on the residents. So we expect uh, the full attention of a resident for one year. Of course, they are given a small amount of paid time off, but when they come to work, they are prepared and focused to work with our patients. They do work very hard during the day. This is not a facility where you're going to have a lot of downtime. So we work very hard with our patients, and along with that, um, our residents are a big part of that picture. The first attempt is really close, but you can always fine tune the fit to make a more intimate fit, better quality, better control of the device. And the more times you do this, of course, the better it is, but the goal is to do it in a limited amount of times. During college, we had to spend several weeks per semester at individual little clinics, uh, OMP clinics, and I did time at the smaller OMP shops and also did it at a um, um, Shriners Hospital. At the hospital I really enjoyed how the prosthetist, the orthotist and the doctors worked well together for the ultimate goal of making the, the best device for the patient. So I started looking for hospitals and when I ran across Mary Freebed um, I looked at its submission statement, looked at its goals and it aligned with mine and so when I talk with my classmates, the experiences that I get here seems to be a little bit more rounded than the experiences they get at theirs. I think that the thing that I've learned the most here is just how to be able to take control of whatever situation comes in. So Mary Freebed sees a lot of different types of patients that I've never seen before. Um, so being able to walk in a room and feel prepared for each of those things, I'm halfway through residency, I would say maybe I'm halfway there. <laughs> 
So um, that's definitely been something really great. Um, the mentors here really want to make sure that you learn that stuff, so that's been good. Maybe something I didn't expect was being able to work so closely with some of the other medical staff. Like having the PTs right here in the building has been really cool. Or the OTs for when we do our upper amputee, um, our upper limb amputees. It's been really neat to be able to kind of step in on those appointments and see what they're working on. We have a 12 month program. Uh, it's broken up into quarters. So the first month is dedicated to lab work. So they're off in the lab. They focus only on learning how to fabricate. So they learn our processes no matter their skill level before they're learning what we do. After that month, they come over to us and they're either with me, the prosthetic mentor, or Lance, the orthotic mentor. So they spend a full quarter with us. They start out more learning our EMR system, uh, soft goods, you know, more basic things so they can work on their interaction with the patient. Um, not complex cases, so they know how to go through the whole process of um, coding, billing, etc. Second quarter, you're transitioning to a new mentor where you focus more on increasing skill level with lower extremity. You get to higher up levels of lower extremity, upper extremity, cranial scoliosis, you know, the more complex things as you go on. Um, but yeah, each quarter you're transitioning to somebody new and then finishing up back with a mentor. It's different for each person. So if you're more confident in something, then you're able to be independent quicker. Um, so it's all person specific. I didn't expect to see that many kids or that many home visits or get to actually take three months and do hospital. So I think for me, it's better than what I was expecting. So you have a couple of requirements that you have to do for and cope and Mary Freebed has a binder basically that has all the requirements and they divide them up each quarter so you make sure you meet each quarter requirements so that you can finish your residency. But it's nice in the binder you're able to when you complete something for instance my journal club in my agenda I write down what day I completed it so that we have um, proof that we've completed it and our mentors know that we're done. I love working with the kiddos. That's what I aspire to be a pediatric orthotist. So having the opportunity to work with peds has been really awesome here at Mary Freebed. I love the variety. I feel at a rehab hospital, especially Mary Freebed, you get anything and everything. I think we've seen the wildest cases down to your most typical cases, which is really awesome, especially when you're taking your board to have all that background information. No two patients will present the same, um, which is awesome because you have to brainstorm a lot. There was an instance actually where my roommate and I, the other resident, were trying to fix her car and the mechanic across the street came over and helped us out and told us the story how he was at Mary Freebed and how much they helped him. And that's not the first instance. Uh, I've heard that a lot of the times walking down the street. Uh, people will stop me like, oh, you work at Mary Fred? Well, I was there, or my friend was there, or my family member was there, and they were able to walk again. They were able to um, return to their lives just because of you guys. Our long-term goal for Mary Free Bed is to be world known for our rehab services, and OMP is part of that big package. Um, we are definitely nationally known for what we do, and our community supports us in a way that is unlike any other. You're going to be walking out in the community, and they're going to see your name tag, and they're going to say, wow, you work at Mary Free Bed, and they're going to open up their life to you and share a story about their family or their friend that has been through our program and has really changed their life. My goal for these people are to have a really well-rounded residency so that someday they're not only fantastic residents, but also great clinicians. Because by the end of the residency, I look to, look to them on my right or my left and give them a high five and say, listen, you're part of the team, you've made it this far, and you're now exceptional. 